Hello, I'm Paul from Zaptech. I'm going to explain how to configure a newly installed Zaptech Go. So first of all, this charger has just been installed. You can see by the orange light uh, on the display that this is currently unconfigured. And we need to go into the Zaptec app to configure it. So we'll start the Zaptec app. First of all, log in as installer. Once we've logged in, we need to tap on the settings gear wheel at the top right. Um, this is Android. Um, on Apple, you will see three dots uh, on this menu rather than a gear wheel. Tap on there and tap install Zaptec Go, or if you're on Apple, it'll be install product. So we tap install Zaptec Go, and it asks us to scan the QR code. And the QR code will be on a sticker on the front of the charger can see there. So we'll scan the QR code. That has established a connection with the charger. Um, enter the uh, pin code if it asks you for that and we select the insulation fuse which in this case is 40 amps. We set the maximum allowed charging current which in this case is 32 amps. Uh, this charger is connected to L1, confirm the settings are correct, and press save. And that's it, the charger is now configured, and uh, the charging can begin. And we can see the charger is now ready, we've got a white uh, uh, indicator on the charger, and it's ready to go. So that's the charger now configured, but we're not quite done, because we need to make sure that the charger is actually online. So we go back into the Zaptec app, this time we'll select Configure Zaptec Products, or again on Apple it will be Configure Product. This time we hold the phone up to the charger, it will ask for the PIN code, which we'll enter now, and we're now connected to this charger. And we can have a look at the network settings. Now in this case, it's been set to uh, 4G communications, that's the default but it hasn't gone online, so we mustn't have, be in a good coverage area. So now we need to uh, connect this charger to customer Wi-Fi. So to do that, we tap connect to Wi-Fi. The available networks will appear. This one. That will now be saved to the charger, and the charger should now be connected to the Wi-Fi network. We can check that just before we go by going back into configure Zaptec products again, connect again. And now we can see the charger is online, connected, good signal strength, and we've got an IP address. So our job here is done. Charger is connected, online, configured. All we need to do is leave the quick product guide with the user and we're done. And that's it. That's how to configure this up to go.